Hi, Marco with R Washers at washmart.com. We have here a, a new trailer build today. This is gonna be an industrial build. This is, this is a 5,000 at five. It's gonna be, a, this is actually a cold water skid. This is gonna be a, a, a poly chain driven pressure washer built by R Washers. And we actually have a Kubota muffler to deflect the, uh, the exhaust in a different direction than the standard Lombardini mufflers that you see that have the exhaust blowing downwards. And uh, it's pretty simple. We have water coming from the 330-gallon tank. We have our filter here. We actually put the filter on backwards from where the arrows direct you so that whenever you're getting mold, sand, whatever crud that you're getting out of your water, you'll actually see it because whenever you have it on the directions that the that general pump gives you to put these, all the contaminants are contained inside the filter. So you don't see it. Uh, and that's the reason why we do it backwards is so we can be proactive and actually see contaminants prior to them entering your pump and then causing pro problems down the road. So we have a 22 gallon fuel tank that's gonna be dedicated to the pressure washer. Then we have a separate hot box that's gonna have an 11 gallon fuel tank. It's gonna be for diesel only. This is gonna be 12 volt with the Beckett burner. And uh, the temperature range on this is in the 190 to 200 ballpark. But also remember, if you're in North Dakota and it's winter time, you're probably not gonna get that. Uh, I believe it's 110 degree temperature rise. And I know that that is 385,000 BTUs on that particular burner. The SDC burner has 555,000 BTUs and it gets more like 130 to 140 temperature rise, just to kind of give you an idea for people that are numbers people. We have a dump valve here in the back. It makes it convenient to be able to empty out your water tank. And whenever you empty out the water tank, you can also use this to wash your hands. Sometimes you'll get real nasty stuff on you whenever you're washing, uh, particularly in the industrial industry. We have two hose reels, one intended for garden hose, one intended for pressure hose. They're 12 inches. They can hold 250 to 300 feet of pressure hose. And then on a 5.8 garden hose, you can carry up to 150 feet, just to give you an idea of what you can have on that. We have these built on a tandem axle Ranch King trailer. These trailers are built in Belleville, Texas, only two hours away from where we're at now. So they are built locally, uh, but we're not just supporting a local business. I feel that for the price that we pay, these are the best trailers in the market. Uh, we probably built somewhere in the ballpark of a hundred of these trailer mounted units uh, between gas power, diesel, and uh, we've had very, very, almost no issues with these trailers. And, that's, and out of a hundred trailers, that's a lot. So they stand behind their warranty whenever there is an issue. And so uh, these are the trailers that I do recommend for you. And one detail that I like that they do on these is that they use heavier duty tubing. They weld a lot more than you see on trailers where everything's bolted on and eventually starts to rattle. And particularly from these machines that vibrate a lot, you'll also start noticing. Have y'all seen the fenders on those uh, on those trailers where they're flappy and they're bolted on? On here, they're welded on. They're rigid. It's not flapping. You don't have your machine vibrating, causing this to flap. And people that are watching this are going to know exactly what type of trailer I'm talking about. It's not a brand. There's tons of brands that build the fenders that way. And these are these aren't just uh, something to prevent these from shooting backsplash, but these are really convenient whenever you need to do something with your tank. On those, bend, on those bending ones, if I was 300 pounds, this would cause it to warp. On this, I could be 500 pounds and this isn't going anywhere. So those are some of the advantages of, of, of going the extra mile on the equipment and being able to take it off road. Uh, for people that are going to South Texas and West Texas, and Louisiana, you'll have very, very poor road systems out there that have been neglected, especially in the oil patch. So it's important to make sure that you're not getting a cheap trailer, but a good trailer that will actually allow your equipment to last. Because one thing about this equipment is if you don't have the right trailer, this equipment can take impact from the bumping whenever you're on the road. So it's important to make sure that you have the right axles, the right suspension. And it's also important not to get, whenever you're shopping for a trailer, don't get 7,000 pound axles if you don't need it, 
because if you travel empty and it's only carrying 3,000 pounds regularly, every time you hit a speed bump, your equipment is taking the impact and it will void the warranty on your equipment, not just with us, but any company that is a manufacturer of this type of equipment. If you have any questions, give us an email at rwashers at washmart.com or visit us at washmart.com. Read some of our blogs on some of our material. It might help you out in the near future. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Marco and filming with us is gonna be Fred Ramonda. Thank you all for watching the video.